fuck is Cupid from? Curious. I'm just curious. Level 20, level 20, 1.8, 87k. Okay, okay. Let's check this out. How do I even inspect my own stock, bro? 75k, 1.7. For Moss, 8% weapon damage. Oh, <laughs> it's good. It's all about the player, bro. It's all about the fucking player. Damn, made PVLE server already. Yo, yo, what's going on YouTube? This is your man Clever Thumbs and I'm back with some more Division 2 content. Um, I just want to start by saying I apologize for the lack of content. Uh, there's just really been nothing attracting me towards this game. It's actually, if I keep playing it, I'm just going to hate it. And I really love this game. But enough about that. Hopefully they fix it soon. There's new updates coming out, so uh, stay tuned for that. We might cover some of that here on the channel as far as PvP. But as far as this... This is the highlights from yesterday's stream. We found PVO. They only made it for one round. And then they subbed out for a PGM Legendary Butler's team. Which we got a rank 50 on. So, you guys want to stay tuned. And I'm going to show you all this build that I'm rocking. How I rock it. Uh, what I like about it. And basically I'm going to show you all that at the end. But right now I just want to say that these guys that we're fighting. They're all expertise level 20s. They have huge all blue tank builds with just uh, extra extra 20% weapon damage and I'm over here with none of that I have none of that I actually have less armor and less damage and we just destroyed them in that fight not only that I'm pretty sure those guys are communicating they're probably calling out med kits nades pushes uh, come back shit like that uh, we had none of that we were actually talking to none of these guys I wasn't talking to Ganesh, I was just talking to Shaq, I was talking to Perucos. Um, I also don't play every day like those guys. These guys are sweats. They think they're hot shit, which they are just shit that's really stinky. Um, but, you know, GG's. It was a really fun fight. I don't play every day. The game's eh. And uh, I just want to see you guys got your ass kicked. But yeah, I'm going to show you all the build <clears throat> at the end. Stick around and watch the whole gameplay. Peace.
better, bro. Which is better? Man, these guys are getting cooked, bro. These guys play every fucking day. These guys play every fucking day. Bro, we're just better. We're just fucking better, bro. That's all it is. played in like how long I haven't played in how long bro k okay okay let's check this out how do i even expect no, stop, bro. 75k 1.7 from us eight percent weapon damage 
was good. It's all about the player, bro. It's all about the fucking player. Is that enough ass whooping? Yo, what's going on YouTube? I'm back as I promised with the build video. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Before we do, smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. That way you guys are aware of when there is new content releasing. Now, I, I did state earlier I've been slacking on it, and that's because there's not really new content. But there's going to be new stuff coming out here soon. Let's get right into it. For, so for the specializations, you want to run survivalists. Why? Because you're going to get nades. The nades also put people in status effects, and status effects have increased uh, incoming damage, basically, to your teammates. I think they get, like, extra 10% weapon damage status effect enemies could be wrong could be 15 i'm not sure but that and every time you pop a med kit you're popping med kit for your team it doesn't last as long as a firewall 10 seconds it might even only last five seconds but for those five seconds you're healing you and your entire teammate with one med kit that is pretty cool can't give that up for my weapons i am running the famas as you guys know in the video if you guys did watch you can actually get this build up to 1.8 and about 86k and this is what i got right now and i absolutely shred in the dark zone um so my backup is my military akm this thing is a beast i really love it optimus on both guns since you can't really use the shield and in sync anymore um for the exotic mask that i'm running is the catharsis if you guys don't know about this pause the video read it basically long story short you get stacks every time you take damage and then once you get full stacks it drops the heal and cleanses you for a certain amount of your armor and a certain amount of time it's really good really good it comes with incoming repairs and armor regen so it kind of sucks that it doesn't have crit chance because it kind of throws off the rest of the build but Moving on to the chest piece, I do have a Fenris chest piece. I wish it was all blue. Unfortunately, this one is uh, not all blue. I wish the core attribute was armor, but it has weapon damage, so it's not bad. I'll take one red over uh, one blue that's only going to go from 1.7 to 1.8. So I'd rather take the weapon damage anyways. Unbreakable is the go-to, of course. If you're going to run in the dark zone, you really want Unbreakable. It gives you a second chance of rethinking your next move. 
moving on to the holster I actually have two piece Walker and Harris gives you 5% weapon damage and 5% damage to armor uh, you basically want everything on your core attribute with the armor and the rest critical hit chance critical hit damage so moving on to the best in the slot the knee pads of Fox's prayers of course we got this one right here which gives you damage to targets out of cover um, the glove we're actually replacing contractors to gain that extra little bit of crit chance and we still have we still have damage to armor it's just not eight percent it's only five so we're sacrificing some damage to armor to gain some crit chance and of course the backpack i did get this recently so i really like it this is the seska backpack um it's gonna give you that crit chance of course i did get one that had crit chance and crit damage on it and adrenaline rush so all i had to do was roll the core attribute so it's pretty cool I will, maybe i'll get a backpack like that soon with the fenris version i mean uh not a backpack a chest piece that's all i'm missing um so that's basically it this is just for looks this doesn't give you any bonus or anything like that people say oh you're running the purple glitch pistol thing I'm like, what the hell are you talking about brother there's absolutely no way you get any increase not even not even a one the value of one doesn't even go up by that but this is the build running the booster hive you know to cleanse you and your team it's going to give you a buff uh depending on what tier you are but right now this is all i got right here it's the booster hive and i have a jammer pole so i'm jamming people you guys can run whatever you want here like i said i'm only expertise level eight so that's where my weapon sits at. Let me show you the stats real quick. I only got 52 crit chance with 138 crit damage. So that's the FAMAS. And uh, <clears throat> I really like the build. So I suggest you guys go make this, try it out. And let me know what you think. You probably already have it. But like I said, I haven't been playing in months. So I just hop back on, do this together. Boom. Magic. But that's it. Pretty much. This your man Club of Thumbs. I will see you guys on the next one. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Peace.